Beats Fever is an upcoming rhythm game for the PlayStation VR. It is being developed by Arrowiz. The game is set in stylish real world locations where you must tap notes that are coming towards you in time with the music. The game includes 40 licensed tracks and has already released on Steam and is currently rated positive in its reviews. I recently contacted the developers to find out more about the PSVR version. Horace Strong, who is the founder and CEO of Arrowiz, kindly agreed to answer some of my questions about his game. This is what we spoke about. Beats Fever is a rhythm game. Why did you want to make this particular genre in VR? Because we believe it is one of the few game genres that can truly utilize VR technology. The core gameplay of Beats Fever encourages players to reach out their hands with the batons and hit music orbs, which are flying towards them. So in action and visual only works well in VR environment. And we have seen these players really enjoy in that way. The game has already released on Steam and includes 40 licensed music tracks. Will the PlayStation VR version contain the same amount? Yes, the PSVR version will have all the available content on day one. I mean, why not? How challenging is the game? Is there different difficulties for each track, or does the difficulty increase on each new track you unlock? To begin with, all the 40 tracks are open for players by default. But they do vary in difficulties and we mark them with stars. The more stars the strong has, the harder to gain the high scores in it. Also, there are seven much harder tracks to tag as a fever mode for experienced players to challenge themselves. The backgrounds in the game are of real world locations, including London and Tokyo. Are these 3D models or 2D? Is there a sense of depth on the buildings? Yes, the cities are created with full 3D models, so the depth and uh, immersion feels really awesome in VR. Is there going to be a challenging trophy list? Will there be a platinum trophy to achieve? Yes, we have been designing the trophy list for PSVR version. Actually, the bronze and some silver ones are quite attainable, but the platinum one trophy is a known factor for now. Rhythm games became very popular when Guitar Hero released. Do you think we could see another rise of rhythm games appearing now that VR enables us to hold any instrument in our hands? Risk games has been a stable genre for both VR and non-VR platforms. We're especially happy to see an increasing number of VR music game launches in recent months. And believe VR is still a new technology, we believe there will be more experiments and innovations regarding instrument stimulation and interaction patterns. When does Beats Fever release on PlayStation VR, and is it coming to the US and EU? The current plan is to release the game in North America and uh, Europe this summer or autumn. And finally, is there a price for the game yet? We are still talking with our publishers about it, but uh, it should be comparable with the price on Oculus and Steam. That's great news that you're aiming for a price point similar to Steam's. Many games that get crossover from the PC to PSVR have quite an increase in price. Thank you, Horace, for taking the time to answer my questions. I look forward to hearing more news about Beats Fever closer to the release date. Beats Fever looks like it'll be quite a fun rhythm game, and if the price is indeed close to the Steam price, it's very reasonable, especially as the game includes 40 licensed music tracks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe for more PlayStation VR content.